In this video, I'm going to share with you all about the cabana rentals on board the Holland America cruise ships and help you determine if this experience is right for you. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you. Hi, I'm Jerry and I'm one of the two cruising Canucks. Jill and I recently returned from two weeks of renting a retreat cabana on board Holland America's new Staten Dock. We've had many questions on our channel about renting cabanas ever since we did so on Holland America's New Amsterdam back in 2020. So today we're going to take a look at these few things. What's the difference between a poolside Lido cabana and a retreat cabana? What perks are included with the cabanas? What's the general layout of the cabana areas? And what are the costs of the cabanas? Also, stay to the end to find out some tips on how to book the right cabana for you. Our first experience with renting a cabana was on board Holland America's New Amsterdam. There we rented a poolside cabana, also known as the Lido Cabana. Now the retreat cabanas are in their own separate area up on the 12th deck, up overlooking the pool. So you might wonder what the differences are between these two cabanas. Our experience showed that the cabanas by the pool were definitely busier. There was more traffic, more people walking by, it was louder, you had the music by the pool, and you had all the hustle and bustle on board that you typically have on a cruise ship pool. Whereas the retreat cabana was up in its own separate area of the ship, most people that were in that area had a cabana rental much like you. It was away from the music, the pool, it was a much more relaxing experience. The retreat cabanas had their own separate washrooms, hot tub, and shower area as well. Now both types of cabanas have relaxing loungers. The poolside cabanas, they had circular day beds. The uh, retreat cabanas, they had uh, loungers. The poolside cabanas had a table with two chairs to eat your meals. Whereas the retreat cabanas had a separate seating area that was just for cabana guests that you could be served lunch, breakfast, uh, and sit down and enjoy a drink at. Both type of cabanas came with slippers and a robe. They also came with a cool refreshing towel during the hottest time of the day. Now for food, they came with a fresh fruit basket every day. They also came with a bottle of water, iced water in kind of a wine uh, champagne uh, type of container. And in the afternoon, they came with chocolate covered strawberries and frozen grapes. Now, one thing that's not mentioned on Holland America's site about amenities for cabanas is the butler service for food. There is a special menu for the cabanas, but what they don't tell you is that the butlers will go anywhere on the ship and get you whatever you want for food, which is a really nice perk. There are many times that we would have dive-in burgers. We would have something from the buffet. We would have something from the pizza or the deli. And the butlers are more than happy to go and get whatever you want when it comes to meal times. One of the big differences we found between the two types of cabanas was privacy. At the poolside Lido cabana, we had people walking by all the time. Many of them, especially on the first day or two, would stop and ask us, how do we get that cabana? Is it first come, first served? Do you have to rent it by the day? What are the options? So um, stay until the end of the video and I'll tell you all about how that works. There is a privacy curtain for both type of cabanas. So if you really want to, you can just close the curtain off and uh, have your own little space. Keep in mind when you close the curtain, you're gonna cut off some of the wind circulation. So the cabanas can get hot depending on which way the sun is shining that day. The poolside Lidl cabanas are all along a single row on the New Amsterdam and the Euro Dam. Whereas the retreat cabanas are organized in a general U shape. You have cabanas that face the pool towards the back of the ship, and you also have cabanas along the side of the ship. The retreat cabana area also has two larger cabanas, they call those family cabanas, that can hold four people instead of the usual two people in the rest of the retreat cabanas. Now some people have asked us about tipping the cabana butlers. And the general rule of thumb that we have found is about $10 per day. That is for the retreat cabana, where there are usually three different, two or three butlers working in the area at one time. So a seven day cabana rental, you would typically give somewhere between $50 and $100 tip per butler. On the Lido cabana, there's usually just one butler. And for that cabana, you may give a little bit more. It's not uncommon to give somewhere between $75 to $150 per week for those butlers. This is a general guideline though, depending on the level of service you get, and uh, how much you enjoy your cabana, that may reflect on how much you want to tip your butler. Our experience in both type of cabanas was that the service was impeccable. They waited on you, they were anything you wanted, uh, they became 
your friends, like most crew, very friendly, and you were sad to have to leave at the end of the week and say goodbye. So here is a cheat sheet on the cabana pricing. It is different for the retreat cabanas and the poolside Lido cabanas. The retreat cabanas per day are $55, and for the week, for a seven-day cruise, they're $399. For the family cabana, for a week, it's $549. Now for the pool Lido cabanas, the price per day drops to $30, and the price per seven day cruise for a week is $199. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I talk a little bit more about how to book a cabana and what strategy daily versus weekly you should use. Now, before we get to the final part of the video to show you how to book the cabanas and what strategies to use, I'd just like to ask you that if you like the video, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more information about cruise ships and cruising in general, then please subscribe to our channel for even more content. Also check out our Holland America vlogs where you can see what day-to-day -day life looks at a cabana. So how do you book one of these cabanas? Well, the first thing is you can't do it online. You have to call ship services and I'll put the number below and also put it in the description of the video and you have to book it with a representative from Holland America. Now, I think the first thing you need to decide is do you want a quiet oasis or do you want somewhere busier where you have access to the pools, the buffet, music and activity? Because one type of cabana, the retreat cabana, gives you that quiet experience Whereas the poolside cabana, if it's available on your type of ship, is a little more active. Now you may want to decide whether you want a cabana for a day or for an entire week. That's entirely up to you. Some people, what they do is they rent the cabana for just a single day, for a sea day, or maybe all of the sea days during the trip. Some people book it for all seven days. If you are booking for all seven days, you may want to consider booking your cabana well in advance. We often book our cabana three to six months ahead of our cruise so that we can not only get a cabana for an entire week, we can get the cabana that we want. If you wait until you get on the ship, then you may find that the cabanas are either all rented or you may just have a choice of a few days here and there that are still remaining. So book early if you really want a cabana. Now, when you call to book your cabana, keep in mind that you don't have to take the cabana that they give you. I've had some Holland America representatives just say that this cabana is available, is that good enough? And usually when I call up, I have the map. I'll provide the map here at the video and I'll provide a link below where you can actually download your own PDF of the map and decide what cabana is right for you. We found the cabana that faces the pool in the retreat area has a little more wind movement. The cabanas on the side have a nicer view of the ocean. There are some cabanas that don't have a neighbor. So you may want to have it so there's just one cabana next to you and you have an open space next to you as we did on the new Staten Dam. And you may want to choose a cabana that holds more people since you're allowed to have only two people at a time in the cabana. You may need the family cabana for four or you may want to rent multiple cabanas side by side. So when you call Holland America, ask them what cabanas are available, have this map available and you'll be able to choose what's going to work right for you. And that goes for the Lido cabanas as well as the retreat cabanas. We certainly enjoy the cabanas. We are doing it again this March on board the new Rotterdam. If you have any questions, then please put them in the comments section below. We'll definitely help out in any way we can about your opportunity to rent a cabana. So thanks for watching. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.